You want to date a loyal Smash player? Date a Sonic main. Mm -hmm. I might have to advise against that, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, we got we got Mr. Sephiroth himself. Yeah, and um, BB won Waypoint yesterday. I think. He yeah, was playing think... Sephiroth. No, he was playing. Um, he was playing Hero. Hero. Right? Yeah. We got the Sephiroth though, trying him out. I feel like, I mean, Sephiroth a character that has incredible tools to just stop you in your tracks, yeah. and Sonic a character with a lot of tracks. So you know, <laughs> you're you're gonna see that. You know, him run to the corner and charge the uh, the side B or the down B, like, very often. Sephiroth, one of the few characters that can, like, pretty consistently challenge it with um, with forward air and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to see BB doing a lot of that. Keeping him, uh, you know, at the edge. Usually, Sonics don't have a, a, a big problem getting getting away from the ledge. Or getting, you know, they 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 they're very comfortable dashing back into the to the corner of the stage and starting to charge their thing. Mm -hmm. But and now we got Vivi with the Sephiroth, this big man with his big sword, having none of that. Yeah, and honestly, when you're Vivi, you want to be incredibly patient because when you fight against a the Sonic, they really test your patience. Mm -hmm. You want to run after them charging. You want to run after them. Yep. But you're always never gonna be fast enough. Yeah. And you're not gonna reach, so you have to wait for that perfect moment yeah, for sure. to get the move. You you definitely have to be patient against Sonic and Sephiroth, one of the characters that's gonna allow him to do that because he has the range to punish them. Mm -hmm. But right now, Vivi with the wing, giving Sephiroth an insane like mobility buff. So we're gonna see him, you know, dodging and weaving through, but I mean, Sonic Fiend, Racking up the percent right now. Uh, Vivi not handling the uh, constant spin dashes as well as as well as he would hope, and and that F tilt's gonna take the first stock. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you just think whether like maybe a a meteor sword would do more damage mm -hmm. against um, Sonic against Sonic, and especially like um, you can't. The only moves that have like uh, like a swing momentum. Is like yeah. the up B up up smack up air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No up up tilt up tilt. Right? No. I'm, well, I'm wrong. Up air. You mean like it's like uh, the rainbow move. Oh, like a, like a Marth up tilt uh, up tilt type situation. Yeah, I forgot yeah. which one it is for Sephiroth. Yeah, Sephiroth. Um, well, his up air, you know, like that one. Yeah. That that's gonna do that. Uh, but yeah, Sephiroth. One of his like lesser talked about weaknesses is that. He's got a huge sword, but it's a very linear horizontal hitbox. Yeah, Whereas, there you go. Yeah, where you look at like Martha and Lucina, you know, you, they have an uh, an arch that right, goes down right, from go. top to bottom. But Sephiroth right. just poking you straight, which makes you it requires you to be a little bit more precise. Yeah, and when you're poking straight, it's a little hard to go against a character that kind of jiggles around when yeah. they're in a state of um, mm -hmm. charged up. A lot of little like micro movements makes this hitbox smaller. Uh, so. So you do have to land with it, which makes it more difficult. Oh, oh you that, know what? Never mind. BB got it incredible. downloaded. Yeah, BB's was... intelligence is like off the charts. Mm -hmm. He's like, I only need that little um, first stock as a little warm up, and uh -huh. then he's got it. Yeah, and that's one of the things with Sephiroth. Um, oh, that's gonna be a calm 33. That's one of the other things I wanted to mention about the matchup. Uh, Sonic, not not necessarily known for very early kills. Sephiroth, oh, man. definitely known for early kills. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna see the the stocks pretty much even out after that really early kill with uh, from Vivi and you know Vivi he can afford to take these hits as long as he he finally sees you know the moment and and capitalizes off it like he did on that second stock. Right, and now that we have um, both of them at relatively equal, yeah, they're at equal percentages, mm -hmm. and um, now it's just at an equal game, and Sonic Bean is so so good. I just breaking BB's momentum. Mm -hmm. Every single time we think BB's gonna like yeah. ride it out, Sonic Bean's like, no, I'm gonna charge for an extra 10 seconds. Yeah. So you don't get that momentum anymore. And, uh, yeah. And honestly, it's annoying, but it works. Mm -hmm. Oh. And, Seriously? And like I just said, you know, BB can afford to get up to 100, <laughs> you know, whatever past that wing threshold is, and then sees his moment and just what? kills you at like. 80% with the back air. What? Especially, you know, because Sonic Fiend is, is playing so much from the ledge. What? Let's see, let's see if we can get uh, that particular situation on the... Oh, here we go. Yeah. So he's charging in the corner, you know, makes his way. But then, you know, 
Ooh, yeah, so a huge. I mean, wow. I, I, I think it was more likely that he was reading a jump there. Yeah. But, uh, but you know, hitting uh, the auto, the auto target, the neutral insane. B just the same. Yeah. And that was like the second <gasps> second time he You caught. know what? I love a, a, a scenery change. And here we are. Little, little Kalos action. Still and Pokemon, but you know. I'm a Pokemon fan, so it's I, fine. I mean, who isn't? Pokemon, truly the goaded franchise. Gotta love it. But yeah, um, you know, maybe, you know, Kalos pretty big Sage, which is typically good for Sonic. Uh, maybe he's hoping on those platforms because he died at the ledge, like, pretty... Yeah, he's, and he's pretty, pretty, getting pretty consistently bopped at the list. So maybe those platforms trying to make it easier for himself. Oh wow! The oh, hard you know what? Counter. I, that counter was also a message to Sonic Team. Yeah. Like, hey, you gotta, now you, you gotta, gotta, gotta look out for that. You, you can't do it up for sure. everything that you've done. I can counter that, and mm. even though it's like not a, a like a real counter, I don't want to call it like that. It is still something that will stop the movement yep. and deal damage to yeah, himself. Yeah, I mean, if you're just blindly charging in with the same timing, like wow. BB, BB a good enough player to recognize that and have none of it, really. Wow. But, you know, we're in a similar situation to the last game where BB had 120, but, like, if I'm Sonic Fiend, I'm sweating right now. Yeah, and BB is, like, really amazing at just finding that Ooh, timing. I was waiting. I was waiting for a dash attack, too. I was waiting for the dash yeah, attack yeah, on the yeah. charge. Uh, saving that for later a little bit. getting Allowing Sonic Fiend to, you know, think he's comfortable with these with these charges and then pulling out the dash attack out of nowhere to hit him. Not wow, killing him, unfortunately. Wow, trying to get it with the nair, he but got him not with the taking back it. Air. Wow. I think he did like a little B-reverse type situation. Sonic I could be Fiend? wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did a B-reverse. Yeah, so that was pretty nice. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, just like <laughs> just fly swamp yeah, that Sonic away from the stage. Right off the, he, he was drifting in without much care there. So, so BB recognizing that and being like, it's not going to happen against Sephiroth. you got to always be on your toes. Wow, I, I hate that setup. The yeah. Up, the up air into the back air. It's, it's like it's, it's. It feels bad. In my head, bad. it's like, oh, I, I can avoid this, and yeah, then I don't. No. Sep disadvantage against Sephiroth, like. It Did hurts. you just see Sonic Fiend just like, Ooh. honing spin dash thing right into the um the purple cheese balls? Yeah, I think that might just beat it. Uh, which is why I don't think we've seen Vivi using it at all. Um, Sonic Fiend finding himself with like a pretty solid lead for mm -hmm. the. For, I think the second time this set, I think he's definitely gonna try and be a little more patient because he knows that his, his charges got called out. Great jump call from before, by the way. He he, he uh, solved the uh, issue where Sonic has where you know he struggles with kill. He really does need those those big call outs on the jumps mm -hmm. to uh, to get those kills. But and oh yeah, another another one of those quirky B reverse. Right, and honestly, right now Sonic Fiend definitely has the momentum definitely he definitely well, has yeah. the lead mm -hmm. and um bb has to quickly find something to um take this stock before he's gonna rack up more damage mm. and sephiroth is a pretty light boy yep i think that sonic fiend has done a pretty solid job after he got the lead of changing the tempo up he hasn't really gotten hit with any of like the hard call outs that ooh, there it is. not the best recovery i think he did it in the wrong way so he didn't snap the ledge but yeah bb's gonna eat that air ledge up every day of the week Mm -hmm. But now getting um, up air, and no, up throw. This is where it's this is where it's scary. Yeah, where you, you, you got, got you got one wing, with wing. Now you're 57 on the ledge. You jump in. You're scared. Vivi knows all about it. He's mm. just gonna take his time. Yeah, you, know. you have to. He knows that he has. If he wants to win, he's still got a long, a long. He's got three ahead minutes. Of him. Yeah. Might as well use everything you got. For sure. That's that's the the Sonic. You know. The mo the mo Ooh, hitting him with the side B. Let's see, because he he's gonna need to stop moving around so much to not oh. get hit by this. No follow up off of it. Oh, and that's wow. gonna take it. Wow, wow. Yeah, I, I feel like this third and second stop just wasn't working mm -hmm. for BB. It and was, especially yeah. like the Kalos change as well. Mm -hmm. Um, Vivi's main kill um, options and like positions were always by that little section where those platforms were. Yeah. And um, when those sections are closed off um, by those platforms, uh, you can't take those uh, kills anymore. Yeah, for sure. I think Sonic Feed, you know, he was up, but then once once Vivi started getting the meaty hits in, 
He was playing a little scared. Yeah. But I think oh. he. Ooh. Ooh, you know what we have? We're we pulling have him out. BB's Lucario. We're pulling out the boy. No more messing there around it is. with the Sephiroth. This is really, you know, gonna gonna be the test. Like, you know, you beat the Sephiroth. Oh Let's man, go and it's a Pokemon battle. Indeed. On PS2, the tried and true pick for all tr your tri-state needs. Oh man. So I think, you know, VV, uh, completely different character, but probably gonna keep the same like slow movement based. Uh, you know, neutral, trying to just weave around Sonic's options and look for that one opportunity to uh, to, to get a hit. See, one thing though, Sonic, bit of a struggle to kill with, with Sonic, and Lucario obviously a character that takes a lot of advantage from being at a higher percent. So we're yeah. gonna see we're gonna see how that plays in. And honestly, when situation. you're at a position where um, Lucario, who is who can jump like. To half the stage whenever they want to. <laughs> yeah. You want to be so careful because um your charges can go up to nowhere because it's not gonna end up hitting BB. BB has barely gotten hit by these charges. Yeah, yet. he really even with Sephiroth, like he was moving moving around Sonic really well, not just blindly dashing in like most uh, many do against Sonic. Yeah, and rather than going for more nares or fares when it comes to uh, Mukario. Uh, Vivi's really just charging up Aura yep. and using that as a threat yeah. to like come either come to me or like get away from me. Yeah, you know Sonic, a character that makes you want to come to them, but Lucario, a character that is more than happy to sit sit you know for, further away from the opponent and charge the Aura. Mm -hmm. Now we're starting to get to the percent yeah. where stuff like that is gonna happen, and and Randy moves are gonna start killing 93 uh, on Vivi right now. Let's see how he plays this ledge. Now this this is this is rough. This is the rough part where you you lost the first talk to Lucario, then you lose one neutral interaction, and now you're at 40. So this uh -huh. this is gonna be a, a pretty tough mental hurdle for Sonic to get over. And honestly, even though Sonic is just like uh, deals a, lo a relatively large amount of damage, or like seems like they do, mm. they kind of have difficulty killing him most yeah, of the time. Yeah, for sure. There aren't a lot of Sonic kill moves unless mm. you're an incredibly high percentage. Yeah, and you need. You know, a, from your basic neutral, like, if you want an early kill, you have to get, like, a big call out off of the spin dash. Uh, otherwise, your best bet's probably going to be, like, you know... An F smash F on smash stage. At, at the, yeah, F smash maybe at the ledge or yeah, on stage, yeah, on the back ledge. air, stuff like that. But mm -hmm. sealing the stock out without taking too much damage. Now he's fighting a way worse character. That could have gotten out of hand really quickly for Sonic Fiend, but, uh, you know, he, he showed his ability to reel it in in that second game, so... We will see. Uh, we will see how that comes through against Lucario. Still down though, mm -hmm. which is very important because Vivi can can just just chill all he wants and charge that aura. Yeah. And that is exactly what he plans on doing. Ooh, oh another wow! Back this air. is That's exactly. Yeah. You know, I feel like that section. You know where the platform is. Um, the parallel of the pa of that platform. Mm -hmm, yeah. Anything above that to the side is where Vivi thrives. Yep. His back air. There mm. are so nice, so yeah. juicy, so amazing, and that's exactly all the kills that he got from Sephiroth too. Yeah, I mean, and I think Sonic Fiend, far too comfortable and not really considering his opponent's options in that particular situation. Kind of just jumping, putting himself in honestly a pretty bad spot. Because even if you land there, like, you're still landing on Lucario. Like, even if they don't call, call it their jump, you're still landing on someone without your jump. It's, it's not it's not a good look, you know? So, and yeah, and like, like, like we saw, getting called out twice for two sub 100 kills in that very same situation. Ooh, the off smash come through, not yeah, gonna kill. Again, that was pretty huge, he needed that. Yeah, not a lot of kills will, I mean, wow, not a lot of moves from Sonic will kill, yeah. as we've seen from that back air. But it adds more damage mm -hmm. to VV, adding yeah. more aura, more power for uh, Lucario. Yeah, I would almost rather not hit VV in that exactly. situation. If I could take back the percent, I would. Like, you need you need a kill right now. And, and what Sonic Bean's doing, he's just, you know, he'll get the kill eventually at this rate, but he runs the risk of, of this happening. And now the game is not over. I lied. Very close to it. Very though. close to it though. Uh, and but you know that what? is gonna do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, Sonic Fiend just didn't really understand the gravity of the situation there. Like he kept he kept spin dashing, and obviously, you know, that's one of Sonic's like mm -hmm. tried and true options. But you know, even when you're winning that interaction and you're and you're hitting and you're hitting Lucario, you're not setting yourself up for a kill. 
and also you're just adding damage and that's gonna that's gonna come through in full form right here two like three pretty early kills from Vivi with this Lucario so <clears throat> definitely uh definitely good stuff to him for that Vivi's patience really shined in this game. Mm. It's those moments where you think Sonic Bean is like taking over the stage. Those dashes all the way from the left to the right, right to the left. <coughs> and then Vivi just throws a move out and then wow. Yeah. There's your stock. Yeah, like like I said, like we you know, we noted before how he's just so <laughs> patient and waiting for uh for the bad option to come out, and right there it was that I believe in neutral air dodge onto the onto the platform. You know, he he wasn't trying to force anything for for the entire entirety of the set. He just, uh, for the most part, was just waiting for the bad option to come out from from Sonic Fiend, and and doing a really good job at, at engineering those situations as well. Mm -hmm. Putting putting uh, Sonic Fiend in a situation where there isn't a good option. You know, he you have to land. <coughs> You have to jump, something like that. So, yeah, good stuff for you for that. Mm -hmm. Who we got? We got Zane.